I've chosen many plants that you can plant at home or you can pick at your home. And the reason why is because if you have this arsenal, you can do a lot. Thyme. Not just a, just, not just a seasoning for your food. It was actually the active and still is the active ingredient in Listerine. Anybody know that? Thymol. It is known to be an incredible antimicrobial, antiviral, antifungal, antibiotic, antiparasitic. What an incredible complexity of plant this can be. So you see there the common viruses, herpes, intestinal virus, Newcastle virus, candida, staph, coli, listeria. But here's the thing that really we want, I want you to take note, resistant bacteria. Now remember one of our first slides we talked about antibiotic resistance. This is a big deal and it's a big scary deal. This means that these bacteria that we don't consider to be so bad could one day be very bad and not respond to antibiotics anymore. Why is it? Because bacteria are constantly morphing, they're constantly evolving, they're constantly reacting to their environment. And if we put these antibiotics there, they start to get smart and they respond to that unimolecular. It's a unimolecule, it's one shape. However, how many molecules are in a plant? 5,000. How is a plant, how is a bacteria going to respond to 5,000 different molecules all at one time trying to become resistant to it? It can't. This is the beauty of nature.